It's mm. Greg Warren. Oh, I like the lighting there, it's Greg. It's a oh, look floating at you. head. Did you in a hotel? See, yes. Look, his yes. eyes twinkle. Is there a girl in that bed, Joe? Yeah, let's see. I can't see. tell. It's all dark. Uh, can't see. Uh, there's a, there's uh, a bed we can see over your shoulder, Greg. Lay that pie. Yeah. That, Lay that nobody pie. In there. Nobody in there? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry uh, to let you guys down. Unreal no. that hose, Greg. <laughs> So, Greg, uh, we, have a, we had an interesting news story about something called menu anxiety. Which I know, oh, yeah. which I have. I, uh, I, I know that you're kind of famous for your uh, performances at restaurants. Um, as a customer, think... you're you're extremely picky. <laughs> do you do you like to look over a menu? What what's your? You know what? I'd like to amend the story about Greg. I've eaten lunch with him more times than I care to remember, <laughs> <laughs> and he has never been anything but a, a gentleman to the servers. I don't know where th this started. Other than Josh Arnold, <laughs> possibly stretching the truth, but I don't know when. I agree. Greg is pretty nice to yes, the servers. Absolutely. It's when they walk away that the vitriol really uh, starts uh, showing itself. Oh, that's true. <laughs> he does, but he tips to, well. He's a very generous person at lunch. He and tends to talk a little loud, especially if there are older ladies sitting. There. We we've been shushed many times. Yes. But Greg shushed. Warren gave us a Wait, gift: yeah. the best picture of all time. Of Josh looking at his pancakes, <laughs> getting ready to pour the syrup on top. That's true. That picture encapsulates more joy than wow. the sailor kissing the girl after the war. Was very happy. The, the intensity of that glare. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a scientist. I've got a system. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anticipating the moment the yes. delicious pancakes hit the lips. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, uh, Greg, what's on your mind today? Uh, guys, uh, I want to talk about uh, Area 51. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Fascinating. Oh, nice. Nice. Big believers yeah. in here. Yeah, it's uh, an area about uh, 80 miles northwest of Las Vegas, 368,000 acres. Uh, a lot of names for this area. Area 51, Paradise Ranch, Watertown, Dreamland Resort, Red Square, The Box. Um, uh, remote detachment administered by Edwards Air Force Base, Homey Airport, Groom <laughs> Lake. Um <laughs> So it's, it's like Sean Combs. It's got a lot, lot a lot of names. <laughs> Diddy. Diddy. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's just, what, okay, Sean. Uh, uh, Paradise Ranch. Uh, the government actually came up with that name because they wanted to lure people out there to work. Uh, they they build it as like a resort when it was a, a bunch of trailers in the desert. It was like when Josh called his improv troupe uh, the Sex Machines. Uh, that's right. I went to that show as a bunch of dorks. It was, uh... <laughs> but did you smile? That's all I care about. <laughs> Freeze. I thought. I thought. <laughs> hey, Mr. President. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I thought uh, Josh was very good. The rest of them were horrible. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. There's an airline uh, that goes from McCarran Airport in Vegas to Area 51. It's called uh, Janet. It's an unmarked plane. Uh, it's it's white with like a, a red stripe on it. Mm -hmm. uh, th it's th the Janet some people think stands for just another non-existent terminal. Some people say that's not true. Uh, but that's how employees like get there, and there was uh, there was a listing for a job as a flight attendant on this airline uh, a little while back, and it said uh, must be level headed and clear thinking while handling unusual incidents and situations, hmm. which. That could be for Southwest Airlines. Too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These days, that's any uh, flight. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, do you think it's harder to keep your mouth shut about your destination or to tell some drunk hillbilly on a red eye that you can't have your 30th beer? <laughs> uh, don't go there, guys. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, don't, don't go there. There's a, a lot of signs that tell you not to go there. Uh, one says a thousand dollar fine, six months imprisonment, or both, uh, and it says strictly enforced. Uh, 
They tried, uh, we're going to let you slide the first four or five times, but uh, that, that didn't discourage people from going in, so they put the strictly enforced. Uh, authorized to use deadly force, and they have. They shot a guy in, in 2019. They, they appeared to be not somebody that just wandered in there. He oh. was a wacko that had something to prove, and they shot him dead. Uh, a uh, hero uh, who had something to, to prove sorry, to Josh. the American people. But, uh, <laughs> so what's in there? Uh, well, uh, Tom, a lot of uh, alien lot of bodies. Come on. <laughs> well, let's get to that right away. Well, let's go. Nobody really said anything about the aliens or Area 51 until this guy in the late 1980s named Robert Lazar. He went on a Vegas local TV show and said, I used to work there and we reverse engineered uh, flying saucers that crashed. Ah. And, uh, he said that he graduated from Caltech and did his master's at MIT. And this guy uh, also said he worked at Los Alamos National Laboratory, and he was a liar. No, none of this stuff was true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did not go to those schools. Uh, like, he did not uh, He did not work at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Like, don't lie about stuff that's easily checked, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like when Godwin was telling everybody he used to be in Van Halen. I <laughs> was in Van Halen. It was called you Van Godwin. Godwin. I was There's the records. original There's singer. <laughs> I sang El Salvador. They turned it into Panama. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, Panama's more ringy. They, they were all... El Salvador. Salvador. That's mine. That's mine. I sang that. Might as know. well leap. Leap. <laughs> leap. That all makes sense to me. <laughs> Christie's cry. Yeah. <laughs> These are all Pat Godwin songs. Yes. That's very good, very good. So the guy made it all up. Well, that doesn't doesn't help. He made it up. Uh, or, yeah. Now, the, what does go on there? Uh, mostly testing. A lot of uh, a lot of planes have been tested there, going back to uh, the U two spy plane in the nineteen fifties. That was a, a spy Sunday plane. Sunday, we bloody Sunday. No, well, maybe they're they're probably not. No, no, after the, that, that's right? the band U2. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Uh, you dash to, uh, you hyphen to, chick. I should have been more specific. What'd you call me? Um, they, they named their band after the plane. Francis sure. Gary Powers, the whole thing. FGP. Yeah, they. Uh, this plane could fly at 70,000 feet above Soviet radar back in the day. It was succeeded by the A-12 ox cart. Pretty cool thing there. This thing could go across the United States in 70 minutes. Whoa. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it could fly at 90,000 feet. Back in the late uh, 1960s, there was a, a ton of UFO spottings. Most people think it was these things flying over pilots and it, it freaked Using them out. UFO technology, yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know what we did test uh, uh, in Area 51? The Soviet MiG. We got our hands on one. Uh, Israel gave it to us. Uh, they got it from an Iraqi defector. And uh, we did a lot of... Uh, there was a, a project have donut. It's not what you think, Josh. Huh? I uh, will have one. <laughs> no, no. Thank you for offering. Uh, it was... Uh, we we tested. We had our, our our pilots test the MIGs, and we found out that uh, they maneuvered very very well, but only at slow speed. So we we just we go real fast, go real fast, <laughs> and go real high, and that's where uh, Top Gun started uh, with 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 these tests. The program, uh, and then, not the uh, yeah, not the movie, so, not the film. So Area right. Fifty One doesn't have alien bodies in it. And well, we don't know. Uh, Wasn't the guy saying that last week in front of Congress? Not necessarily somebody about Somebody did 51. say something about that. Yes. Uh, David, somebody, David Ber Berger? Grush said that recently. Um, and uh, no, nobody says that's true, uh, that, that I trust. Um, oh. Here's an interesting one uh, that I thought, uh, and I can't reveal my sources on a lot of this stuff, guys. <laughs> sure, sure. Of, uh, um, but uh, there's a theory that uh, Joseph Stalin... Uh, saw the movie War of the Worlds and wanted to uh, freak out uh, the Americans. So he built a flying saucer and and uh, had two 13-year-olds uh, that were altered through science. Like basically he did human experimentation on these kids to make them look like aliens. He put them in the uh, the cockpit and, uh, and had the uh, flying saucer crash in New Mexico. Uh, and that... Uh, that was taken oh, to Wright-Patt Air Force Base huh. uh, uh -huh. in Dayton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And then they moved it 
to uh, Vegas or to Nevada in 1951, which is why we call it uh, Area 51. Hmm. Oh, yeah. hmm. interesting. Now, yeah. when these aliens uh, come to Earth, when they go back home, do they sit down with their friends and show them slides? You know, here I am anally probing farmer Steve Johnson of Noblesville, Indiana. Really? <laughs> no, no comedy to be found in the anal uh, probing of the uh, extraterrestrials. Uh, they're, they're doing a, uh, medical research. Yeah, Josh, that hits home with you, doesn't There it? are victims, yeah. There are, these, are, these are victims you're talking about, not, not punchlines. Because <laughs> there seems to be a lot of anal probing whenever these, whenever these hillbillies are... You think if we had an alien body, we're not going to probe it in every which way we can? Yeah, you yeah. are. Yeah. If you find Absolutely. something, there's a hole. You're going to get in there. Exactly. Yeah, figure it out. Hey, it's yeah. a hole. Wonder what this does. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, there, there, there's some Google Earth views of it, and it, it can't says, be <laughs> says here that they are the the runways are very neatly kept, which, uh, yeah, I, I I would hope that the U.S. military uh, picked up the Snicker bar wrappers and empty <laughs> fire. <bar. laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a military base. Of course, everything is neatly kept, yes. I bet. Yeah. It's a mess <laughs> over there. It's, it's just... Tom, you probably remember this. In 1974, there was a book uh, called We Never Went to the Moon, America's $30 billion Swindle by a guy named Bill Casing. He said that uh, the moon landing was filmed at Area 51. He's an idiot. Yeah. He is an idiot. It yeah. was on the Warner Brothers lot. Everybody knows. <laughs> Everybody knows. Well, I, it, I've, uh, I written have a book. Uh, Cuber directed it. I have been to Cape Canaveral. I have watched a launch. So what? It's real, pal. You moron. You don't know that. Mm. I saw it. Well, David I was standing you. right there. Mm. Well, that one was real. Yeah. Not the one to the Yeah, moon. but the, you didn't see. You weren't on the moon time. Right. I, yeah. I wrote a book about, uh, you know, the Gulf War <laughs> that I don't, I don't think was real. It was filmed uh, in a sandbox with tiny action figures in uh, Donald Rumsfeld's backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Like where this is going. All right, cut. I need more emotion out of you. <laughs> Rummy with a big megaphone. Uh, the, the government acknowledged uh, in two thir 2013 for the first time that there was an Area 51. Uh, they There was a freedom of information request, and they, they never acknowledged that uh, it happened. There's also, Tom, you asked what goes on there, a lot of, uh, a lot of bomb testing over the years. Good. Uh, yeah, there's some... Uh, Oh. There's some plutonium out there. They've done they've done some stuff with some really really bad substances out there. So you don't want you, 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 you don't want to live downwind. Mm -hmm. That's the key. No, you don't. And I, you know, the problem with this topic, man, I'm not sure if you guys know this. There's a lot on the internet about it. <laughs> It, it oh, can't be yeah. easy to read. Not a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I'll just top line this thing. No, that you, you, <laughs> there, there's a lot going. But a, a, some people felt like that there's this plutonium in this area that they sectioned off, yet earthworms can go a lot further than you th think, and they move the plutonium to other areas. Oh, is, yeah, they carry it with them? Is yes, it, yeah. yes, and then, you know, birds eat it and stuff like right. that. Right. So it's a little scary. Um, there's a guy named James Nose, uh, ex-employee that worked there. He said that uh, he never saw any alien activity, uh, but he said that there's no official documentation that he worked there and that they got paid in cash. Yeah, I'd like to see the size of his house and his yeah. boat for saying such things. They got paid in cash, isn't it? They got government? paid in cash, Christy. Yeah, and they're government that close facility? to Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Real, real, hmm. real uh, sketchy. Hmm. <laughs> and very doubtful. <laughs> well, thank you, Greg. By the way, Greg Warren's going to be on stage at Rooster Tea Feathers in Sunnyvale, California, <laughs> uh, coming up August 10th through the 13th. And then Wednesday, August 16th, you'll be at Zany's in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, and then coming up later that weekend at the Stress Factory in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And eventually, you'll find yourself in Tempe, Arizona. Uh, at the Improv, coming up in um, in late August. So, oh. go see Greg live and in person. Greg, how is your uh, how is your comedy special doing out there in the world of Amazon? Well, it's it's on YouTube, uh, Tom. Oh, sorry, uh, YouTube is the previous one on Amazon. Am I getting these? Previous one was on Amazon. Yeah, sorry. thanks. Um, it's doing well. It uh, it hit. Uh, well, I I don't know. It's like six hundred fifty five thousand views or something. Yeah. Which, it is. Uh, 
That's a very special number in comedy. Once uh, once you hit six fifty five. Oh, oh yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Well, oh. very good. Yeah, very I, good. I know it got a yeah, great yeah. review in the New York Times. So bravo to you. And it's called once again the salesman. The salesman with yeah. with uh, with Greg Warren, a former salesman uh, in real life. Uh, and uh, we uh, certainly appreciate your calls. And he we sure tried to sell us a bunch of hogwash this morning, didn't he? Oh. Oh. Sure did. Oh. Oh. Area 51 doesn't have any. I didn't, hear, I didn't uh, know anything about Janet Airlines. Real, I'm fascinated Real by good it. sales work there, pal. I didn't hear one time he goes, there's something I slapped together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome.